my video journal slash journey and two nights ago I said I had a message that I wanted to share yesterday and I didn't get around to doing it but it was an important message so I didn't want it want to wait until I was really tired to give the message but when I was at my son's football practice a couple days ago a friend of mine was there who told me about a 24 year old young lady who had just committed suicide he said she reminded him a lot of me as far as appearances go and she was Italian and things of that nature but she has a four, she had a four-year-old son and he said he had just gave her a hug and wished her a safe trip home three hours prior to this the young lady was speeding at 120 miles per hour went off a ramp into a tree apparently she had been dealing with some issues regarding a boyfriend <clears throat> so I guess originally there was one message that I wanted to share but having seen a post on Facebook yesterday that's now turned into two messages number one you have to have a purpose in life her purpose in life should have been her child regardless of everything else that was going on in her life regarding her relationship or whatever the fact that that little boy needed her should have overpowered any other feelings or emotions to keep her going we all have our down days when our relationships aren't going the best in fact I had just had one myself the day I found that out but your why has to be bigger than that you have to be happy with your own life you have to love your own life before you can share that love with anyone else first and foremost and that in itself should keep you going every day the love that you have for yourself second message is this yeah it's true that we should surround ourselves with positive people we should always strive to be positive ourselves but we also need to acknowledge our feelings and recognize that we all have our bad days and so if someone calls you up and they're being negative or something's not going right we should not just dismiss them we should try to encourage them get them back on the track to positivity but at the same time acknowledge their feelings because there's strength in that that's not a weakness and to get over those feelings builds more strength what we need to remember is strength always comes from pain in the beginning even a personal trainer could tell you that you're gonna have pain when you're lifting weights you're gonna experience pain that shows that your muscles are getting stronger through that pain it's the same way with life we will go through pain but that pain will make us stronger people who live life with a silver spoon in their mouth and have not experienced any hardship are usually the coldest people in the world the people that had to get there through struggles 
are usually the ones with the better understanding of the world around us. So, think to yourself, that friend of mine, his last interaction with her was positive. But what if it hadn't been? What if she had tried to reach out to him and he didn't want to hear whatever negativity or pain? And let's say he hung up the phone, tried to get off the phone with her. And that was his last conversation. What if that were you? How would you feel? <laughs> this world is so full of people who are so self-absorbed. <laughs> and all they care about is how they feel and how the people around them make them feel. Stop being so selfish. The only way we can make this world a better place is if we stop being so selfish. Be empathetic, not apathetic. Anyway, I hope someone learned something from this message. And if you're going through something, some difficult times, reach out to someone who does care because you are an important person the world needs you that's why you're here have a great day everyone